always forget that I actually have this car, as bad as that sounds, but it just sits over in Australia and I'm in Japan and it just waits for me to come back on the occasional visit. So I've actually had this car since 2016. It's, like I said, it's an actual Australian car, so this would have came with a single cam, like an A85 in Japan. So I'll do a little walk around of the car and show you what's changed. It's essentially been changed to like a Japanese 86. It has a twin cam 4AG, a Japanese diff, and yeah, I'll show you some more of that now. So inside is actually full interior, so carpet, roof liner, Everything, it's all there. Has air conditioning that works. Um, it just has a basic cool scope bolt in roll cage and a Bride Vios 3, I believe, Japan edition. So, this seat's actually been in like all of my Australian cars, so not probably the right style for this car, but just a really cool seat. So, why not throw it in? And a bit of a sentimental value of the seat. So, uh, we'll show you the engine bay. Actually, a AE92 4AG, so a small port. Personally, my favourite 4AG. Uh, I'm sure people will disagree, but for me, I think these are the best option. It's literally standard, standard computer, standard airbox. Just has some um, uh, exhaust manifold that I don't really know what it is. That goes to a ZSS stainless exhaust. Otherwise, it's uh, all normal, all factory air conditioning, like I said, which is. <laughs> big plus in Australia and yeah it's just a really fun car I uh, wish I got to drive a bit more this trip but it does need a clutch before I drift it in last time it was a, quite soft and started to overheat after a few runs um, the diff's also a little worn out it has a Japanese disc rear end and just a 4.3 ratio and BC coilovers other than that, it's completely sanded, no steering mods, no nothing fancy. It's just a really nice street car. It's a really nice thing to have over here, because when you're over there, it's like the cars get driven a lot and they get quite rough. Whereas this car just sort of sits here, stays nice and clean because I don't get to drive it. So when I come back, I'm always blown away by how nice it is compared to what I have back in Japan. So unfortunately, it will go back into hiding until our next visit. And I think I'll probably bring some goodies back from Japan next time and we'll get the clutch better and get it more in a driving state. <laughs> this time, uh, this is actually the second time we drove it just to come out here and shoot this little video. So, um, yeah, I really love this car and it's something that I think we'll just keep for a very long time. So, yeah, actually looking forward to coming back next time and getting some driving in in it.